What's up, Brandon Phantom? How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, today we're about to get into the part three of my series of my favorite movie posters of all time. Um, we just want to thank Mark McKeever, uh, one of my patrons on Patreon, for uh, suggesting to do this. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, up first, we have Godzilla. Um, I know it's kind of a uh, interesting and uh, not so great movie, but... But uh, for me, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. But this poster, this poster is pretty great. Uh, I probably would say it's uh, pretty fire, <laughs> pun intended. Um, I, I like love uh, the logo, and then also with Godzilla's eye uh, and like showing the texture of uh, his skin and whatever. It's really really cool. Um, and then up next we have What Dreams May Come, a beautiful film starring uh, Robin Williams. Um, I absolutely love uh, the coloration of this. Um, just it basically just goes to show just how beautiful the film is, just based off the poster. And it's like it's one of those posters that I would so want to own and have on my wall in my room. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen What Dreams May Come, it's a beautiful film. Um, up next is Terminator Two: Judgment Day. I mean. You give uh, so many great vi 90s vibes off of that. You have Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, one of the best sequels of all time. And it's a fantastic poster. It's just simply him on a bike with the uh, gun, uh, just a blank background. It's uh, pretty perfect. Um, and then up next is Black Beauty. Um, uh, yeah, this poster, I just love... You know, the sun coming down on uh, Black Beauty and then uh, Black Beauty, um, you know... Doing his, doing the thing with, uh, you know, Nang and whatever. <laughs> um, and then up next is Beauty and the Beast. It's a, uh, it's a fantastic poster. I love, uh, you know, the same thing kind of with Black Beauty they coming shining down on them. You know, them in the foreground and that in the background. Um, love the logo. It's a, it's a beautiful poster for an animated film. Um, then we have Silence of the Lambs. Um, I just I love how simple it is, you know, the title, you yeah, have her her face, and then the uh, butterfly over the mouth. It's, uh, it's a pretty good uh, colorized photo. Um, and then we have Jurassic Park, um, definitely a poster that is p pretty simple, plain and simple, basically, and it works, it works great, because uh, you, all you have is the logo, you have uh, the uh, gate and whatever with uh, four sets of uh, lantern fires. It's pretty cool. Um, and then up next is the Prince of Egypt. Um, a very beautiful anim animated film. Um, love uh, how like most of it is just um, the outlining of Moses' uh, face and all that. Um, with uh, a scene in the background and then the title and whatever. It's... You just look at it, and it's like, you know what? That looks fantastic. Um, and then we have The Hunchback of Notre Dame, one of my favorite Disney uh, movies uh, of all time. Really adore this movie. It's uh, pretty great, but the, this poster is just mesmerizing to look at. I mean, you have the title, you have um, him, you know, basically reaching up and whatever. It's very angelic looking at it. It's pretty neat. Um, and then we have Batman Returns. I love, I love uh, the way it, they have like in the middle of like an action sequence where you have the uh, logo basically being uh, in the middle of an explosion or being blown by the wind or whatever. It's pretty cool. Love uh, that. Um, and then we have Before Sunrise, one of my favorite um, films of all time. Before Sunrise. Uh, I, I love the uh, um, coloration of the yellow, uh, blue, and uh, white. It's a, a pretty cool uh, little uh, tidbit for the uh, poster where uh, you have the background of Italy and you have them sitting down uh, by the... Um, uh, yeah, they have, you have them sitting down and them looking down at each other. It's a beautiful poster. Um, then you have a movie that is a uh, huge nostalgia for me, Small Soldiers. Um, love this movie, but I love the poster. Like, 
it's all about toys, but yet this poster just makes it seem pretty badass for uh, what uh, the film is about and whatever. So, and it's like, oh man, I, I just love looking at it. It's, it's a fantastic poster that I would want to own and uh, put on my wall too, because I like all the soldiers looking at whatever. It's just, it's just toys, but it's so badass. Um, and then we have Sleepy Hollow, a uh, Tim Burton, uh, Johnny Depp favorite of uh, film of mine. Um, definitely, it's one of those things where uh, um, I just love the way they go about with the uh, um, tree that curves. It's very creepy looking. It's very eerie and all that kind of stuff. Um, you got the headless horseman in the background uh, with the horse. Um, and then you got the title. It's one of those posters that when you look at it, it's like, oh, it's like knowing how good the movie is. Like, yeah, that poster is just great in itself. And then we have Dances with Wolves, um, a fantastic film. I will love how plain and simple this is. It's just basically, you know, two of the characters looking to the right. Um, and then you have like uh, one of the famous scenes in the film, the buffalo and the horseman. Um, and then up next is Misery. Uh, love how plain and simple this one is as well. Like it just gives off that eerie tone of the film with uh, the uh, typewriter, and then you have the uh, foot and the sledgehammer. It's, I mean, it just gives off the film just in based off that poster. And then we have um, Demolition Man, uh, another guilty pleasure uh, from the nineties. This one is pretty great. Uh, you have Celeste Stallone and Wesley Snipes, you know, staring off at each other. Um, you have, uh, like, you know, all those uh, words and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you have Unforgiven up next with Clint Eastwood. I uh, love the color tone to this one. Uh, love the love the uh, West Western uh, feel with uh, brown and uh, gray and uh, yellow. Um, and you just <laughs> have Clint Eastwood giving off his uh, trademark uh, look. Um, and then we have Goodfellas. Uh, love the uh, love this um, uh, one where it's just simply them looking towards uh, the camera. And then you got just a simple gun uh, down below below the uh, um, uh, title. And then we have the last of the Mohicans. Um Love the uh, action tone of this uh, um, poster because uh, you have like the action sequence going on in the back and him looking towards the camera with the axe and the knife and all that kind of stuff uh, intensely. Love that. Um, and then we have Ghost, a gorgeous uh, poster right here. Um, uh, just Patrick Swayze and oh man, like I just love this poster. Like it's. It solidifies the film, and you know it's so iconic and whatever. And I just love the blue whitish aesthetic to it. Um, and then we have Hook, uh, Robin Williams Hook. Just simple. It's uh, it's it's one of those posters that you just gotta admire just for how simple it is. Um, because I mean, Hook is one of those films that is just so underrated from Steven Spielberg and Rob Williams, and with the way they go off the poster, I love the uh, lighting to it, and I love um, how it's just simply a hook. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? Some people just think, you know, you have to, you know, do so much to a poster, but it's like simply just do something so simple, and it can be iconic, and this poster is pretty iconic, in my opinion. Um, and then we have Ed Wood starring Johnny Depp. Oh, man, love this movie. Um... I love how the simplicity of it with him just sitting in the chair with the uh, title in the back. It's uh, pretty great. Um, one of those movies that's all about Hollywood and all that kind of stuff. It's just definitely one of those posters that is fantastic. Um, then we have a favorite animated movie of mine, The Rescuers Down Under. Um, this is one of those uh, films that really gives off a great vibe um, to the uh, film. And... Uh, I just love how like it's uh, them on the uh, um, eagle and uh, they're just you know looking off into the distance. It's pretty great. Um, and then we have daylight, a simple poster uh, showing them underground and you know 
looking towards daylight. It's uh, one of those great action films that uh, you have that is just fantastic from beginning to end, and it's actually really underrated and deserves more attention with Sylvester Stallone. Um, but I love how you, you get uh, the walls just you know, and then the light and uh, the title, or whatever. It's pretty great with the with uh, how that goes. Um, then we have Air Force One. Um, love the uh, way they uh, give the uh, action off, going off with the plane and whatever. And then <laughs> Harrison Ford looking intensely. Um, yeah, Air Force One definitely a great action film. Um, then we have a. Beautiful uh, poster, one of my favorite posters ever. Like seriously, this poster just solidifies everything I love in film. With Charlie Chaplin, the film about Charlie Chaplin, with Robert Downey Jr. Um, as Charlie Chaplin. Um, yeah, yeah, just have him covering part of his face with the iconic hat, with uh, Chaplin looking uh, towards the camera. Ugh. This is a poster that I absolutely adore and want to watch on my wall someday. It's one of those beautiful posters. Um, and then we have the Mask of Zorro. Um, love this one. Um, gives For me, it gives off like a uh, nice, you know, throwback to like the 50s with uh, the old Zorro films. Not old, old. Well, yeah, it's old Zorro films and the uh, Disney serialized show. Um, but yeah, like, I love the shadowy figure. It's pretty neat. Um, then we have Schindler's List. I mean, it's just, you know, with knowing the, what the film is about and you just having the uh, title and then, you know, it being black away with her in the red coat, it's just a, one of those perfect, perfect, um, posters. Um, then we have Mrs. Doubtfire, uh, it's just one of those classic ones that, you know, you just gives you a warm feeling whenever I look at it. It's just, that's, that's what I love about this poster. It just gives me warm feelings. It's, it's one of those, it's definitely one of those films that just warms your heart. Um, and then we have Tarzan. Uh, I absolutely love this poster because of, uh, the way it uh, gives off, uh, the f tone of the film, as well as, uh, kind of a neat shot from the film too. Um, and it's uh, aesthetically pretty great. Um, and then we have The Matrix. Uh, man, like, so much nostalgia for this one, and it's so iconic, and it's like, solidifies what the film is. Um, and then we have Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams. Oh, man. Like, m for me, it's just, like, when I see the film, uh, it's just, for me personally, it's just one of those things where it's like, I see it, and I know what the film is about, and it just, you know, makes me cry, makes me feel warm, it makes me, you know, emotional every time, because it's one of those, it was that movie that I watched immediately after uh, Robin Williams passing to watch something I had never seen of his, and it became a favorite film of mine, so. Uh, and then we have Cape Fear, Martin Scorsese directed this, as uh, well as starring Robert De Niro and Man. I love the intense look of the eyes with Robin Williams with the uh, lightning and the boat in the back with the family picture in the uh, f front. Um, like, this is one of the, my favorite posters that really gives off the tone of the film just from the poster. It's so fantastic. Um, and then we have the Hunt for Red October. Um, definitely one of those simple posters that gives off a great vibe to it. And with the Hunter of Red October, the title for it with Sean Connery's face and then part of the submarine, it's definitely one of those posters that is just so simple yet so iconic at the same time. Um, and then we have Awakenings uh, starring Robert De Niro and Rob Williams. Um, it's, it's a beautiful film. It really, really is. And uh, like, I love this shot from the film. It's so so beautiful with the uh, the water and I absolutely love like the way you know they uh, have the two people there it's like one of those things that just gives off a uh, warm feeling vibe um, and then last but not least we have Casino um, I mean with Goodfellas and Casino I mean both iconic films uh, I mean like you just look at a poster like this and it's like you know what there's 
pure greatness in just looking at this poster because you know how great the film is. Or even before seeing the film, you know there's like some iconic thing going down. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that was um, my favorite posters, uh, part three, uh, the 1990s. Um, just want to say I thank you to Mark McKeever again for uh, suggesting this series. Um, yeah. Uh, he's on Patreon. Uh, he's one of my pa uh, patrons. I seriously thank you, pa Mark. Um, if you want to support me on Patreon, there's the link down below. Um, just want to say to those who are new here and you made it to the end of the video, um, you can go ahead and check out my channel for more videos like this. I have trailer reactions, movie reviews, top tens, and a bunch of other uh, film-related content. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you. If you are new here, you can go ahead and uh, click the bell to get notified of future videos. Um, I Like I said I, earlier, I have a Patreon where you can uh, get early access to videos. Um, you can support me over there. It would be much appreciated. Uh, again, thank you, Mark. Um, I also have a... Uh, Twitter, where you'll get updates from the videos like uh, this. Um, you'll have uh, movie news me for me to talk about and all that kind of stuff. And then you'll have uh, a I have a Discord where you can join and interact with me and a bunch of other people. So I uh, just want to say one last time, I appreciate you all. Stay random.